Governor Otom and Benue Elders will draw support from Atiku's presidential bid. Hey guys, this is 2DGM3 Daily News Update. Ahead of the 2023 general election, Samuel Otom, the governor of Benue State, seems to have redrawn his support from Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Governor Samuel Otom and the elders of Benue has accused Atiku of degenerating him as a governor and working against the interests of the people of Benue State. The Benue State Governor Samuel Otom seems to have been angered by the words of Atiku during his recent visit to Kaduna on the comment of the recent killing by suspected ex-men in the state. Recall that Atiku Abubaka has made a comment where he said that he is angry with Governor Samuel Otom for profiling Fulanese as bandits and terrorists because he is a Fulani man. And reacting to the comments of the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, the middle leaders of thought in Benue State has withdrawn their support for Atiku Abubaka, accusing him of hate speech and profiling of Benue people. Also speaking in a video about to watch was Samuel Otom, who accused Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, which he belongs to, of working with the Mieti Allah, a headsman group notoriously known for carrying out outrageous killing in the country. According to Governor Samuel Otom, he said, it was not correct for a presidential candidate who is seeking to rule the people to say that kind of thing. It was very wrong. And it will appear that it doesn't even reference me and consider me to be a governor of my state, he said. Governor Samuel Otom has said, since the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, has not recognized him or Benway people, then they shall vote the election as the election comes. Let's watch the video. We'll be right back. Alhaji Atiku reiterated that modern methods of livestock rearing would be introduced to make, to make the economy more viable. He said, I am a manufacturer of livestock feeds from cattle to poultry. I have more than 100 heads of cattle. They have never gone out of one location. Excellent as the above statement sounded, Alhaji Atiku suddenly veered off from his focus and launch an unwarranted attack on the person and office of the Governor of Benue State, His Excellency Samuel Otom. He said, and we quote, I had a big quarrel with Governor Samuel Otom of Benue State on his accusation of Flani people. I said, I am Flani. Why should you categorize all Flanis? We, we have to improve ways and manners will look at our livestock. I am angry with Otom for profiling Fulanese as bandits and terrorists, quote and unquote. The Minda leaders of thought have taken exception to the public exhortation and profiling of Governor Samo Otom, who has been globally recognized as a model in the fight against the annihilation of Nigerians by marauding pastoralists, pastoralist flannies, not only in Benue State, but across Nigeria. Why did Atiku fail his emotional balance by contextually dovetailing a general situation which has more public appeal into subjective personalism with Governor Samuel Otom as a target? The Minda leaders of thought find such baseless outbursts and accusation unfounded, reprehensible, and condemnable, especially coming from a political figure laying claim to pan-Nigerianism. What therefore is Benue's hope if eventually the PDP clinches power at the center with the presidential candidate of the PDP harboring such deep-seated animosity against our governor, Samuel Otom. Shouldn't be the one responding to this because I was the one that, uh, unfortunately, our presidential candidate profiled. And it appeared to me 
that he is uh, working with Meyatiala uh, because that is the same language that Meyatiala were saying about me. I have never profiled any Fulani man. I have always qualified any time I call Fulanis. These are Fulanis from Niger, from Mali, from Senegal, from Mauritania, from Libya, from Chad, who have come together and said they will take over our country to become their own. And that is why they have displaced our people. And who on earth will say I should not say that? I am the governor of Benue State. More than two million people are IDPs. And why should I not talk about those who are my enemies and are killing my people? I remain committed. And whatever I have done, whether the law, whatever we're doing in the state, is fully with the support of Benue people. I have their consent, I have the backing of House of Assembly, I have the backing of National Assembly, who are from uh, Benway State, and nobody has the right to profile me and make me look bad before the Fulanese. I have no problem, I have Fulanese in my government, and I have never sent any Fulani man away from Benway State. All that I say is that we have a law in place, let everybody be law abiding and respected. When this thing came up, on my own, these are things that I attempted to avoid. I had sent a chat message to the presidential candidate, our presidential candidate, telling him that he was unfair to me when he made those remarks in uh, Kaduna. And I told him I needed an unreserved apology from him. And the following morning, he chatted back and accepted that the, what was said was not accurate. But all the same, he sincerely apologized to me. But when I started seeing this agitation coming from uh, back home and other parts of the country, I also challenged him that, please, get your media aid to refute this, to send this apology to the media so that they will, people will understand what it is. These are things that I was trying to avoid. And unfortunately, nothing has been done. And that is why you see, I read several uh, comments from social media condemning him and saying all kinds of things. And uh, I think what he said about us in Beji was not correct. And it, it, it was not correct for a presidential candidate who is seeking to rule the people to say that kind of a thing. It was very wrong. And it will appear that he doesn't even reference me and consider me to be uh, a governor of my state. I'm not in his campaign team. Nothing there I'm aware. The people they appointed here, no consent from me, and so on. So, me, I remain my own, but I'm waiting. When the election comes, we shall vote the election according to the election. <laughs> Welcome back guys, this is the DJMTV Daily News update. So here we have it, we've heard from Governor Samuel Otom and uh, minor elders of Benway State. Both the elders and Governor Samuel Otom have withdrawn their support from the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party uh, due to the statement he made when he visited Kaduna saying that Governor Samuel Otom uh, should not have profiled the Fulani uh, as bandit because he is a Fulani man. So guys, what do you make of that statement? Some of Utom have also said that um, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party shouldn't have made such an error um, in Kaduna State publicly and he has asked him to apologize, which um, he has not done because the apology was supposed to come through the media aid of the presidential candidate. And now he has said that um, the presidential candidate does not regard him as a governor because he's not even in the presidential council, um, he's not in the campaign team, and um, he's seeking to uh, win election in Benue State. And uh, he made a comment saying that we shall vote the election as the election comes. The Benue elders has also rejected um, the person of Atiku Abubakar due to the statement he made and um, the underlooking of their governor, Samuel Oto. Now the question is, would the Benue people vote for Atiku 
when it comes to the presidential election in 2023 or would they look somewhere else not forgetting that governor nason wiki has also done the same thing not including atiku abubaka in the pdp flyers in river state he has said that atiku abubaka does not want uh, the rivers people to campaign for him so they would not and that is the same thing that had just happened in Benue state what are your thoughts and comments share them with us in the comment section below